Hey guys, the traditionalists are still killing it. Yeah, I have a story I want you to hang on and listen to. It's about a 90 year old who is out there killing it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to speak about traditionalists. Usually I talk about millennials and a little bit about baby boomers, but today I'm gonna to go a little bit older and I'm gonna talk about people that are in their 80s and their 90s. And here's the story I wanna share with you. I was having lunch the other day with a good friend of mine and she was telling me that her mother is, who lives alone is celebrating her 90th birthday. And I went, man, wow, 90 and she lives alone. And she goes, oh yeah, but she is in a neighborhood where she's been her whole life and she's actually doing things that she did when she was a young mom. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, well, the community has like a neighborhood networking group and all the millennials pick her up and drive her to this. They enjoy having her at the table. They enjoy talking to her and she's part of the group. And I thought, wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. That's really interesting. So these kids pick her up and she said, here's the thing what I know about my mom. She said, my mom wanted it to be an early morning. You know, she's up early and usually they do a breakfast. But a few years ago, they changed it. A lot of the younger people had kids and they decided that the best time to do this was in the evening at 5.30, like a happy hour, right? And she said, I really didn't want to go at 5.30 because I'm kind of getting ready for bed. But she said, I decided to do it. And she said, I never really told them that I preferred the morning. I just rolled with it. And she said, you know what I'm learning? And this is a 90-year-old talking about still learning. She said, I'm learning that I have a lot to learn from these young people. And so instead of telling them how to do things or the way we did it in the past, I always say, hey, this is interesting. Tell me more. Why at five? And what I'm learning is if I stay curious and I stay open, I keep learning. 90 years old. Keep learning, you know. After the lunch, I came home and I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been thinking about, we are all talking about getting along. You know, like the older people are bugging us and the younger people have so many issues. Why not get curious? Why not follow the direction of our 90-year-old grandma and listen, ask questions. Instead of telling people how to do things, maybe we can learn a little bit more if we just listen. Hey, guys, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson. Keep listening.